In this MMP1 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up user assignable buttons in, in the editor software. So the user definable buttons are found on the right side of the main page, and they can do any number of different things. There's a wide variety of choices uh, for what they can actually do. And the great thing is you have 35 of them per scene. So you could have 35 user definable keys set up for one scene and then have them all change for uh, the next scene. So there's a lot of flexibility there. If we go to the settings page and then underneath the scene tab, we go to the user assignable sub tab, you get access to all the user assignable buttons. So it's very easy to assign a function to a button. Here, let's choose button number four and pick a function. Uh, let's see, like uh, oscillator source, for example. And um, you get some options for that function. So we're going to choose 1K. And then you can even label this button uh, 1K tone and give it a color. In this case, uh, I'll use blue. Now we can go back to the main page and see that we've added this 1K tone button to the user assignable area on the main page. And it's really that simple. So I could go through and create a whole bunch of different user assignable buttons, uh, depending on, on the scene and what I'm using the MMP1 for. Um, so here, let me just show you. I've created a couple here. If I go to this scene, there's quite a few more buttons assigned. I can go back to the main page and show you. These buttons are cough mute status buttons and enabling buttons for the first four channels, uh, the first four channel strips. So uh, it gives you an idea of what's possible here. And if I go to another preset, another scene, I've assigned a whole bunch more here to show you what is possible other tuck back assignments, various functions. So there you go. That's how you set up the user assignable buttons in the MMP1 and save them to various presets to give you different configurations depending on your use.